My name is uh, Jake Schneider. Um, I did a placement at the uh, Jordan's and Vita company for just over just under a year and a half. Um, I was working in the taste and development department, which is um, sort of comes under the umbrella of the marketing department. So it's essentially a product development uh, department. Um, I was working as a taste and development technician, so essentially I was um, given a few tasks to start off. Um, things like uh, looking at packaging. Uh, we, we did a big um, relaunch across all the countries that we uh, sell Rivita to, across the crisp bread range, um, revamping all the packaging and things. And I was um, sort of in charge of the more technical side of the packaging, so looking at things like nutrition declarations, um, claims on pack, uh, GDAs, etc., etc. For a brand like Rivita, their nutritionals are one of the most important things about their packs. Um, so it was, it was really big responsibility, especially looking at the way that it, it, it would start with me and I'd have to sort of work through all this information and it gives you a bit more of a process to look at and then sort of put it out and put it through um, the compliance team. So looking at the skills that I sort of got from that, just started a, uh, a legislation, look, uh, a module this year looking at legislation things. So it was, it was sort of like a, a really good opportunity to, to actually do something that you wouldn't have looked at before um, before that for your degree and it gives you sort of skills that you can transfer. Um, other than that, in terms of product development, uh, it was slightly different to the technical roles you've seen from Vicky and Gareth, um, where they were sort of doing a lot more, I think, science-y. Uh, my, my background is essentially, I used to work in kitchens and at college I was sort of to and fro as to whether or not I wanted to go into a professional kitchen environment or something more like this. So I did a uh, catering qualification alongside my A-levels, so um, I was more used to actually working in kitchens and working more practically with food, so this role suited me really well. Um, so looking at product development things, there was a lot of ideas, generation and going on to work, working particularly with strong brands like Jordan's or Ivita where they've got really strong brand credentials and people understand what their brands are all about. It was sort of really good to sort of tailor products for, to, to bring the brands into new areas, so um, Things like Rivita just launched a product called Crackers for Cheese, which I don't know if any of you would have seen it, but um, Rivita is spending a lot more time nowadays trying to get their brand into other eating occasions, so moving themselves out of a lunching occasion and in, into other sort of eating areas. So it was really good to be a part of a team of people who were trying to push that idea, um, which is, you know, is really good from my point of view because I got to use some more of my practical skills in terms of um, flavour development and, and food ideas. So, um, and especially with, with a team like that, you get to look at uh, working a lot more with across different functions. So you work with the sales category and find out what, what supermarkets actually want to be buying. And it's not just a case of if you build it, they will come. If you make it, they not, not necessarily buy it. And you, they want people to actually come into their categories and, <clears throat> and to come into their categories and basically buy things that people actually want. So you work with sales categories obviously work at marketing, so the whole idea behind the project was to um, well, to, to, to bring the Rivita brand into different occasions and make people more aware of what we what our credentials are as a brand. Um, working with uh, a lot of finance teams and stuff like that, I mean, if you're looking at ideas generation, you really don't want to be some blue skying ideas like, I don't know, gold covered Rivita, it's never going to work, although it doesn't exist. Um, so yeah, it was, it was really good, and you got you got a lot of uh, you got a lot of sort of I don't know I'm rambling. You got a lot of um, uh, I don't know. You got a lot of um, I'd say you got a lot of skills looking at things like the marketing side of things. So for my, for me, I do food science and business because I want to either business at A level and I want to be able to sort of incorporate those things together and not do a more technical role. Um, so product development. I mean, I worked on projects. Uh, like I worked on Jordan's as well, so I worked on cereal bar projects. Um, a big, a big thing for me is a, a recipe that I developed, and the recipe that I worked on is currently looking to launch in March. Um, which I, you know, is my, if not my idea, but it was a recipe that I essentially came up with. So it's really sort of beneficial, and you can actually see your products go onto the shelf, which is sort of, if, as a placement student, you don't going back to some other points, you don't think that you're going to end up with that sort of responsibility. So that was really good, um, and also you you are you are given you are given huge responsibilities. I mean, I was placed on another project. Um, the uh, Food Standards Agency released some guidance on um, salt levels, so they want consumers to start eating a lot less salt in their products. Um, so they worked with food producers 
to lower the amount of salt in their products. So I was on a project where we were trying to take, trying to, to make our products fit in with their guidance. So it was it was my project and I led it from the start. So it was really sort of good to to work on to work on something which you can see sort of an outcome for it at the end. Um, any questions? <laughs>